Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about budgeting in my bullet journal. So today's video location is different. I am at a hotel room. Um, we dropped off my daughter at her dorm and we, since my son and I can't stay there, we're staying here at a hotel close by. It's pretty cool. It's got a king size bed over there. For me and then um, that sofa pulls out um, yeah so anyhow uh, today I'm going to do my budget check-in which is going to span from May 23rd to May 27th so that's Monday to Friday as you know I do three check-ins during the two weeks after I get my paycheck and that is to keep myself um, Oh, I do that in hopes to keep on top of my budget, but it's it's been a lot and I'm already over in certain categories and I'm hoping I don't go way too over in my other category. Anyway, to see where I'm at with my budget this past week, keep watching. I don't have my setup with me, so I'm just gonna freehand this camera or this phone um, and hopefully it's not too shaky. We'll hope for the best. Um, on May 23rd, I got a Starbucks gift card for my sister. It was her birthday and um, I wanted to give her a Starbucks gift card in addition to the mug that I got her. And she loved the mug, you guys. She thought it was hilarious. Um, so, And then also on the 23rd, I got a, I refilled my Starbucks app with $20. Um, I marked it as a gift card to daughter because I was just going to just get a gift card for her, but I ended up using it um, or doing loading it up to my account. She wanted to go um, have a coffee date with her, one of her best friends, and um, yeah, so that's what I did. And then on the 23rd, I got some gas at Costco. It cost me five dollars and 39.9 cents per gallon and that was um, filling up after I had gone out of town last weekend and then on the 24th I went to Walgreens yes and I got some capris and on the 24th I got my daughter some SPF gel and I took it out of the beauty category so this kind of reddish color is the beauty category and on the 24th, my son Venmoed me back for his um, baseball cards, and that was so that's a positive $43.42 unbudgeted. So that will zero out this right here. Um, yeah. Um, on, okay, so <laughs> I did some big spending on that same day to get some tickets. So for July 6th game, I got two tickets plus parking, and that cost $202.10. And then on the 24th, I also got tickets for the July 7th game, which is three tickets. So my daughter is actually going to come with us that day. Um, I believe it's finals week, but she said she should be done by the seventh so hopefully she is otherwise I got her a ticket for <laughs> for nothing um, so that total is two hundred fifty five dollars and seventy five cents and with parking it's an added twenty five dollars and that's general admission parking that's not even the special like park close to the to the stadium this is like we have to walk a little bit on the 26th, I um, sent my daughter, what did I do here? Oh, I sent, okay. So I sent her um, book. So she had a book that she had rented and she forgot to turn it in and it was due on the, tw I believe it had to be postmarked by the 28th. Um, I thought it had to be there by the 28th, so I did priority mail. Yeah. Plus, I didn't want it like I didn't want to send it media mail and then have it get lost or whatever. So I did that. And that was nine dollars sixty-five cents, and that's coming out of uncategorized. 
And then on the 26th, we went to Target. Um, my daughter wanted some stuff for her hair. Uh, so she did get a haircut, but I took that out of, I had some cash stashed away. Okay, so I used to do cash, cash stuffing, and I never did empty my envelopes. I kind of just have them sitting there. So I had some extra money in my beauty category that I not touched. So I used that for her haircut and tip. Um, but when we went to Target, she wanted like a round brush. I think some scrunchies, some hair products, just a bunch of hair stuff. Um, she doesn't really do much to her hair. Like it's been pretty long. Like it, it was before her haircut, it was up to her butt and she would just like have it up in a ponytail. So um, she wanted to have a little style in her hair this year. It's her senior year in school. And so that's why we got her some hair stuff. And I took that out of the gifts and giving. Um, no, I get, took that out of the beauty category. And then on the 27th, I got her a lift ride from my work. What had happened is I took her to work with me that day and she had a CPR class, which was across the street. So she went to it. And then when it was done, she um, I didn't want to put her on a bus because she wasn't familiar with the bus system in our in our hometown. Um, so she normally does ride the bus when she's at school because she's familiar with the system and stuff. So I put her on a Lyft ride and that cost $18.99. That's including tip. And then again on the 27th, I went to Walgreens and got some capris. And that's it for my spending for this week. And I haven't even logged... Um, what's today? Today's Saturday. I haven't logged my expenses for today and it's it's a lot <laughs> So I'm kind of worried about where I'm at in my budget right now um, Especially in the eating out category, but that will be for the next video um, let's see. All right, so I forgot to bring my notebook on this trip so I just copy down my numbers from the last check-in right here and this is the money left from after the first budget check-in and this column right here is the amount i spent in the last five days so <sighs> bear with me guys all right so for gas and car i had 257.95 and i only spent 79 dollars which leaves me 178 dollars and 95 cents for the rest of this weekend and monday and tuesday before i'm paid again on wednesday and in the groceries category i had 89.98 and i didn't spend anything in groceries um i'm gonna have to double check that because i could have sworn i did but um, as far as my expenses tracker, I have, I still have $89.98. And for household, I was in the negative for $13.34. I didn't spend anything in that category, and so I'm still in the negative $13.34. And then eating out, I had $144.78, and I only spent $20, and that leaves me with $124.78. For copays and meds, I had $124.16 to start with, and I didn't spend anything in that category, so that leaves me with the same. And in my allowance, I had $38.61. I only spent $25.44, so that leaves me with $13.17. Now for fun money, I had $155.01 to start with, and I spent $482.85, which puts me in the negative. $327.84. I know that's a big number, but I do have a plan for that. I don't have my books with me, except for my bullet journal right there. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to figure this one out when I get back um, tomorrow, when I get back home, and then um, when I do my third budget check-in. So for uncategorized, I had negative Oh, for travel, I had $470. I haven't spent any of that yet. Um, I am holding on to that and probably spending, um, I believe, $250, $270, something like that for the hotel stay this weekend. And then uncategorized, I have $30.03 in the negative, but then I had it 
I added 37, 3377, which puts me in the positive 377. And just ignore this part down here. Um, I <laughs> totally messed up right there. But um, so over here, I did spend $68.54 in the beauty and self care category, and then $20 in the gifts and giving. So that is it for this video. I will transfer these numbers to my notebook when I get back home. I am going to have to track my expenses that I had today, which was quite a bit. We went out to eat and um, pretty sure we are way over in this category right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get myself reorganized and that way I'm ready for my next budget next Wednesday or this coming Wednesday. Don't forget guys that I am going to be doing a 200 subscriber giveaway once I hit 200. Details on that will be coming out when that happens. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, great night, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.